some delicious cheese. Cheese. <laughs> or sausage or something like that. Because America has a much better cheese selection than China. <laughs> I uh, have been teaching abroad for uh, four years now. Almost two years now. A year and a half. Almost two years now. In China, I miss my family. Um, I miss my friends from home. I miss food from home. Fish and chips by the sea. <laughs> Western food. Uh, roast dinners, fish and chips. But I miss my family as well, of course, yeah. But we keep in contact, so that's okay. Also my family, certainly. I, I, I do miss my family. I miss seeing my parents, my brothers. I'm South African, um, so I miss my high protein based diet. <laughs> my meat and potato pies, I miss my steak and kidney pies. I miss um, having open fires and being able to bry, so if you call it in South Africa, being able to bry all the time. The number one thing I miss is probably uh, BBC iPlayer. I have two brothers and uh, they're both younger than I am and I still keep in touch and we still we still play games together, we still uh, we still uh, talk to each other pretty regularly. Because in the UK you can just go on iPlayer, watch all the different TV shows like Doctor Who. And so although I can't see them, I, I, still, I still keep close with them. Oh, 100% the food for sure. <laughs> Like I, I love Chinese food, and I've, and I've, you know, I've really grown to, like, I've kind of, ex like, I've grown my, like, my palate of, of kind of. I used to be terrible with spice, and now I can actually handle that, and I'm, I'm more um, explorative with my foods. But I never beat like a Sunday roast, and you can't get that here. Um, and I'd say wild animals. Uh, so we have, you know, you can go half an hour when you're in a park with all types of different animals and that's difficult here. You can go to zoos but it's just not the same. I'm also British TV. I can't get on BBC iPlayer anymore and it's it, and I, I you know I can but it's it, it's really hard to get onto it. So those are honestly the two things I think British TV and British food.